Today I'm going to show you how to make slinky weights. Why I think slinky weights are better than the pencil lead is because uh, slinky weights don't get hung up as frequently and if they do get hung up they're easier to free and because they have this soft coating on the outside it's a softer feel when they hit rocks and it's easier to feel a fish bite with them. So uh, let's get into making them. You're going to need some parachute cord, uh, some sort of a heat source with a flame like a lighter, something to cut the parachute cord with, a scissors. One of these tools is really handy. Um, you can buy them at uh, your local tackle shop and then you'll need some sort of lead balls. These are quarter inch lead balls. So what you do is you take a piece of parachute cord and you burn, well you take the uh, center out and then you burn an end and have something to wipe that hot plastic with. And that seals the end of the cord so now the balls can't come out that end. And then you take this tube and generally you have to open the end of the parachute cord up a little bit. And you put the tube in there and slide the line up on the tube till you get to the end. And then you have to decide beforehand how many, how many lead balls you want in it. Um, I'm just going to make one of unknown size. So I'll just put maybe, well, that's a little few too many. About that many lead balls in there. And then you just pull the, co the parachute cord off of and I've got too many lead balls. And then you can cut the end off. And then burn that end. And there it is. The way I use these is I'll take a, uh, a slider that goes on your line and it has a snap on it. And you just run the end of the parachute cord over that snap and then it just hangs on your line. 